Hello guys and welcome to this video. Recently, I did a video on how I passed my EJPT version into exam. And inside that video, I mentioned that I will make a, bit, uh, a video about try hack me and hack the box labs. That will be very helpful for you to practice what you have learned. And also, you guys requested for this video as well. Uh, in this video, I will walk you through the free try hack me labs that will be very helpful while you are studying for the EJPT version 2 exam. I myself completed these rooms and labs while I was preparing for the EJPT version 2 exam. Be sure to watch the video till the end as I will share a tip about the EJPT version 2 actual lab and how it really looks like. Before we move on, please support your channel by subscribing and also hit that like button if you find this video helpful. You can also hit that notification bell to be notified when we upload a new video. So let's jump into the video now. Uh, open your favorite browser and search for Try Hack Me. Click on the first link that appears here, tryhackme.com. Uh, once you're on the website, you have to be logged in in order to complete the labs and the challenges. For this video, I don't need to be logged in, and I'm just gonna demonstrate how you can find those labs, those free labs. So once you're logged in, come to the learn uh, section and also come to the search. Now you can filter your search according to your need. For example, uh, if you want through the subscription only labs or the free only labs, uh, the type, you want the CTFs or the walkthroughs, in which order do you want them to be displayed? And also according to the difficulty, do you want the info one, easy ones, mediums, or the insane one? For this video, I'm going to keep it to the free only as not everyone has the money to pay for the subscription. And I think that's uh, pretty enough in order to be prepared or practice what you have learned through the uh, courses. So I'm going to set this to free only and search for the first end map. Sorry. Yeah. The end map uh, first, what I do want you to do is so once you search and find the exact labs, come here to the type and search for the uh, set that set the type to the walkthroughs. As this are the walkthroughs, they will teach you step by step how to use Nmap and where you can use it. Once you have learned about Nmap and once you understand it fully, uh, set the type to challenges or the CTFs. So these are the challenges, free challenges. These are the these two are the levels are easy and these are the medium ones. So the, what the CTFs do is that they don't tell you or teach you how to use Nmap, but they are uh, vulnerable machines hosted on the TryHackMe server that is there for you to test your knowledge, test what you have learned from the walkthrough labs and hack uh, this uh, CTFs or this or complete these challenges and i recommend you first complete the walkthrough labs and then come to the uh, challenges or the ctfs parts so the next uh, labs that i want you to check is the uh, meta exploit labs as you can see there are about eight labs on this one about the meta exploit or i call as the, i mentioned previously first of all you should check the walkthroughs these are the walkthroughs about the meta exploit, how you can use it, for example, introduction, post exploitation basics, how to use meta exploit for the post exploitation uh, phase. And also, once you're done and once you learn uh, about the meta exploit, come to the challenges and complete the CTFs or hack the vulnerable machines. The next labs that I want you to check is the Durbuster labs. Uh, search for Durbuster and uh, you have to complete these two labs uh, I think this is the CTF and this one is also the CTF let me check here yeah both of them are the CTFs there is no walkthrough about the Durbuster uh, so you will learn about the Durbuster inside the PTS course uh, and once you learn uh, come here and practice what you have learned and use your knowledge to hack this to uh, uh, machines. Uh, the next labs that I want you to check is about the web application security. Uh, search for a web app and you will have 
about uh, one, two, three, four, five, ten laps here, and one laps here, about eleven laps uh, for the uh, web application security. For example, the vulnerability uh, will teach you about uh, active recon, web app attacks, and privilege escalations. The basic pen testing lab uh, will allow you to practice web application hacking and privilege escalation. Uh, as mentioned before, uh, first of all, complete the walkthroughs that are six of them. Once you learn about uh, the web application security or the vulnerabilities and also uh, everything that is here, come to the CTFs and uh, complete or hack uh, these vulnerable machines and find the flags and complete these rooms. Once you're done with the walkthroughs, complete the challenges for the web application security. The next room is about the websites, websites that are made by the uh, WordPress. So for this, uh, you have to check for the WP scan. WP scan is uh, a vulnerability scanner tool that is used to scan uh, for the scan the WordPress websites for uh, any known vulnerabilities. So here's a CTF or a challenge type room or lab that uh, you will be uh, given a WordPress website and you should hack it. I think the CV is also mentioned here. The website is a WordPress website and also blog. So by completing this uh, room, you will learn how to approach a target that is uh, made by, uh, sorry, a target web application that is made by WordPress and how to hack a WordPress website. And that's very important. You have to check it. it uh, check this out. Next, we have the crack map uh, exec. So, uh, for those who don't know what is a crack map uh, exec, according to the Kali.org, uh, it's a Swiss Army knife for pen testing active uh, Windows Active Directory environments. So, from enumerating logged on users, uh, sorry, for enumerating logged on users and spidering SMB shares to executing uh, PS exec style attacks or to injecting uh, Mimikatz shellcode DLLs into memory using PowerShell and also dumping the ntds.dit and much more. So this is, I think it's a CTF. Yeah, it's a CTF about the crack map exec. You will learn what is crack map exec and how to use it inside the INIS PTS version 2 course. And once you complete it and learn what it is, you can come here and uh, uh, check your knowledge uh, by hacking this uh, lab or completing this challenge uh, about the crack map exec. Thank you for being with me till this part of the video. Please consider liking the video if you find this video helpful and also subscribing to the channel would be very much appreciated. So the next one uh, will be, the rooms will be about the uh, Hydra. Uh, so search for Hydra and you will have about uh, seven labs or uh, rooms about the Hydra. Let's check the walkthroughs. There's only three of them, uh, Hydra, that, will, that you will learn about uh, and use Hydra, which is a fast network logon cracker in order to brute force and obtain a website's credentials, you uh, hacker node and also brute force heroes. Once you complete this uh, walkthroughs or the rooms, uh, then come to the CTF part and also use your knowledge what you've learned about Hydra and hack these uh, machines. You will learn a lot of things by completing these free rooms. Next, we have the rooms about the pivoting. Pivoting is uh, a really big part of the exam that you have to perform a pivoting uh, in order to access the part of the network that you don't have access. So for that, let's try pivot. And you can see there are four free rooms about pivoting. There's, uh, I think, one walkthrough, which is red. Learn how to pivot through a network by compromising a public facing web machine and tunneling your traffic to the internal network. So complete this room and understand what is pivoting and how to perform pivot. And then come to the CTF or the challenge part and hack this website, hack this networks 
get access to a, a vulnerable machine and use that machine as a, a hacking base to access the part of the network that you're not allowed to access or the internal network which is not public to the internet using uh, or exploiting a vulnerable uh, machine in the network. So uh, complete this four rooms about the pivoting and you will learn a lot about how to pivot and how it really works and how important it is. Uh, enumeration is a big part of hacking. Uh, once you have completely enumerate and search about your target, you will probably can hack it very easily. So let's check for the enumeration uh, rooms here. So you can see there are, uh, I don't know about, uh, so 10 here, maybe about 40, 30 to 40 uh, rooms, three rooms about the enumeration. Let's filter it by walkthroughs. There are three uh, walkthroughs about the enumeration, FAF, hacker node, and also bad byte. Once you complete this, come to this. Sorry, come to the challenges and complete all the this. Uh, I think it's 20, 28, 28 uh, free rooms or free challenges about the enumeration. Complete this, and you will learn a lot about how to enumerate and how to perform enumeration on a target. So we are almost done with the video, and thank you for being with me. Uh, till this part of the video. As I mentioned, I'm gonna share a pro tip on how to have an idea about the actual environment of the EJPT version 2 exam. Come here and search for the EJPT version 2. So these are all public information that are shared uh, on the INE website. Click on the first link that's here, eLearn uh, Security Junior Penetration Tester version 2. And once you're on the website, scroll down and you will see here the EJPT letter of engagement click and also you will have uh, the EJPT lab guidelines so sorry about that so let's check about the EJPT version 2 lab guidelines uh, I really highly recommend for you to read and understand these two uh, files, the EJPT version 2 lab guidelines and also the EJPT version 2 letter of engagement. So the lab guidelines, it's an in-browser Kali Linux system. Uh, so it will answer most of your questions about what if uh, I visit my lab environment, for example, interacting with the Kali Linux in browser lab, for example, how to copy and paste the text, uh, how the Apache Guacamole keyboard uh, locals, uh, how dynamic uh, flux works, and lab connectivity. Learn this, sorry, study and read this. It will really, it will be really helpful for you. So let me close this one and check the EJPT version two letter of engagement. So it's about the exam configuration uh, and also the scope of the engagement, and also you will have, as I said. There's a DMZ network, and also there's internal network one, internal network one, and also internal network two. You have to exploit one of these machines here, and from this point of view, you have to pivot to these networks. Uh, and also, you will have you will understand about the exam objective, and also recommended tools that I shared the uh, try hack me labs about the Nmap, Durbuster, Nikto, WP Scan, CrackMap, Exec, and Hydra. Uh, and also you will find uh, a list of hints for a successful penetration test and I highly recommend for you guys to complete this to uh, sorry uh, for you guys to read these uh, two documents and that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed the video and it was helpful for you guys uh, please uh, if you find this video helpful hit that like button and also Hit the subscribe button uh, if you want to support me. Uh, you can also hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Happy learning and see you in the next video.